So they remade Suspiria. Advanced word is that it's actually pretty good though, so I bet I'm kind of curious to check that out. But in the meantime, let's check out the continuity and the timeline of the classic Dario Janto trilogy of the Three Mothers. Um, they're not really one consistent storyline, but they do tie in together, so let's check out how well they do. The story begins back in 1977, and wow, one minute in and it's already gorgeous. Susie gets a cab to her new school while another student is horribly murdered. We meet the vice directress, her instructor, and the oddball custodian. Weird maggoty things start to happen, and then there's the mysterious unseen directress. And when this girl catches wind of her, she's killed after falling into a room full of razor wire. My room full of razor wire is way more organized than that. Way to look where you're gonna jump, girl. Susie meets with Dragonetti, who tells her that the school was founded by a Helena Marcos, who was a witch and was supposed to have been killed in a fire quite a few years ago. Susie finds the secret door that takes her to the Black Lodge. Okay, the, the coven's secret lair. And the whole school is a part of it. And then she finds Helena, who's invisible, but Susie is able to stab her and kill her. This kills the entire coven and destroys the entire school. And Susie moves on, and there's no year here, so let's go with 1977. The story continues in 1980 with Inferno, which kicks off by telling us that it's April in New York, and this book talks about the mother of Size, who lives in Germany, and was Helena Marcos the mother of Tears, who lives in Rome, and the mother of Darkness, who controls New York. Rose thinks that she lives in the house of the Mother of Darkness, and then we then bounce to Rome and Rose's brother Mark, who encounters the Mother of Tears, and then people start dying, including Rose. So Mark goes to investigate, cats attack, more strange deaths occur, Mark investigates further, accompanied by some really ill-fitting music. The old man turns out to be the architects of the house of the three mothers and as the house burns the second mother is revealed and it's Skeletor die beast man the building burns Mark escapes and the mother of darkness is trapped in the blaze again no date here so we're saying 1980 nothing happened until 2007 and we finally saw the trilogy completed with the mother of tears the third mother it starts with the discovery of a coffin, and we meet Sarah, Dario's real-life daughter, Asia. And the indication that any stylistic flourish from the other two films is totally gone. The box has a cloak that someone will kill for, and Sarah escapes, and while researching the mothers, she uses this planner that shows the Italian January and the days of the month line up with 2006, so it's looking like that's our year. Sarah can apparently make herself invisible while witches and police are after her and told that her mother was a white witch who fought Mother Suspirium. And then Udo shows back up but is a different character here and he says the other mothers died many years ago and is then killed. Sarah's mother shows up and was also in Inferno but again most likely is a different character. Although I guess it's possible that she was the same person. Random bad CGI ghost stuff occurs, and Sarah and a cop find their way into the mother's lair, and when she finally shows up, it's a new actress. When her cloak gets burned, her monkey gets squashed, and the mother is speared, making her the first horror villain to be killed by yanking her top off. And Sarah escapes, and the mothers are all dead. And you know what? They all died really easy. I mean, I'm not even, like, afraid of the mothers. They were killed by a single knife stab, doing nothing, and a defrocking.
too. Mother of Darkness has a lovely brownstone near Central Park West. Supposed to be the coolest of them all, but basically there's nothing as the building falls. Witches must be a lot of pressure Because to kill her you just have to undress her So there you have it, it's three movies that don't really tie together. I mean, they, they don't really have anything in common except for the mythology, so you could kind of watch any one of them in whatever order, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you don't even have to watch all three of them, you could just watch one or two. Um, if you're going to watch any of them, I'd watch Suspiria, it's one of the most beautiful movies I've ever seen in my entire life, it's gorgeous, the cinematography is amazing. And Inferno was actually way prettier than I remembered it. Um, I, I thought that it actually lost all the stylistic elements of Suspiria, but it actually didn't. It still has quite a bit of it. Although Mother of Tears has none of that. It, it, it's, it's just a movie. Um, not, not a very great one at that, but it is uh, it's just a straightforward movie. Um, but that's about it for this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the uh, Halloween weekly uh, extravaganza. Next video, we'll be shifting away from horror for a little while and do some other genres, get, get some stuff covered in there. Um, yeah, L let's see what else we got. But uh, let me know what you thought down below. Check out my Patreon page. Thank you to my patrons. These guys are pretty awesome. In the meantime, I'll see you in a little while for another great video, guys. Thank you. Bye.